Uh, we're going to talk to D. Stegall, D. A. Alumni of ICC and uh, a good friend of mine. D. Appreciate you joining us this morning. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. All right, man. Uh, real quick, tell everybody who you are, where you're from, and the years you were here at ICC. Yeah, my name is uh, Demaris Stegall. I am from Smithville, Mississippi. Um, I finished high school there and then I came and did two great years at ICC and now I'm finishing up my senior year at Mississippi State University. I'm studying communications with a concentration in public relations. So this man is coming to steal our job here pretty soon. So, <laughs> uh, well, All right, so I just want to start this off and uh, D, first time I met you uh, here at ICC, it was one of those, you, you meet certain people that you know has it. Like you're like, this kid's going to be something and, and, and you were one of those guys. Thank and uh, it, it reflected in everything you did here at ICC and is now doing it at Mississippi State as well. So uh, real quick, tell everybody, like, uh, when you made that decision from coming to Smithville to ICC, yeah. you know, uh, what, what, what drew you to ICC? The, the entire process was a blessing. I really didn't know I was coming until about two weeks before graduation. Um, I had toured ICC. I really enjoyed it. Um, it felt like home. I enjoyed the campus. And then after that, I still negotiated um, where I wanted to go. I went on some other tours in different places, uh, different universities, different community colleges. And as cliche as it sounds, ICC just felt right. Um, everybody I met was very genuine, um, very honest, and very uh, transparent about the process, what they thought about ICC, everything like that. Um, so I really enjoyed it. And so about two weeks before, I came on campus and I also applied for Indian delegation. Um, ended up getting that, and so everything just kind of fell in line, and so I knew I was like, ICC is going to be for me. And, and so now that you, you went through ICC and you went to Mississippi State, of course, I, I'm like you, I went to a very small high school. Right. Uh, now, I, now, I went to Mississippi State and then came back to ICC, and I'm not saying that's not for everybody, but it just wasn't for me coming mm -hmm. from that small setting. Now that you see Mississippi State, do you think possibly that ICC helped prepare you for that university? I know for a fact ICC helped prepare me. Um, a, it transitioned me people-wise because I was able to build a, a great foundation at ICC. Um, a lot of the friends that I've had at ICC are still like my core friends. Um, it gave me a core group of friends when I got to Mississippi State. Um, it put me in a, a way better position financially as well. A lot of scholarship opportunities, um, things like that. And then it taught me, for lack of better words, how to college, mm -hmm. um, which is a lot of times can be difficult coming from a small school. Right. Um, and so I got there and I knew how classes were. Um, I knew what professors would expect, things like that. I didn't know maybe the ins and outs of MSU, but I knew how to college. So it just made the process a lot easier. And I think it's the best way to put it because that's what I didn't know how to do when I went to state. Yeah. And, and it overwhelmed me. Uh, you know, I'll tell it's people that, you know, that, you know, in, in my, in my, when people ask me about college, you know, I thought I was ready, mm -hmm. but I wasn't, you know. And yeah. so whenever I went to state, then came here to ICC, then, like you said, it taught you how to college. So let's talk about some of the things you did while you're here at ICC. You were, you, you did a little bit of everything. And that's one yeah. thing that we try to tell people is no matter if it's a, a junior college or a university, mm. college is what you make it, the experience you make it itself by participating, being involved, and, and just basically just squeezing the life out of your college experience. Kind of just tell everybody what you, uh, what you were involved in and some of your highlights while you were here. Yeah, um, I, I was really blessed at ICC and it was a good opportunity to see what I liked, what I didn't like. Um, but while I was here, I was able to uh, announce for baseball for both years. That was a really fun experience, one of the highlights uh, for sure. And then I also got to do Indian delegation, which is, for those who might not be familiar with it, it's basically just recruiting for the school. So we got to talk to high school students and do tours and things of that nature. And then we also got to do uh, student government for two years. So my freshman year, I was a representative. And then my sophomore year, I was able to be president of the student body. And then also here in community relations, I was able to start the Lynn Report, which is live Indian news, along with a good friend of mine, Chelsea Mullins and Lakin Jones. And so that was just basically a student broadcast that's still going on today, gives uh, students current news and things that are going on on campus. Uh, and then I was also able to help out with just some different tours for like basketball, football, things like that. All right, and then you took that experience 
and you went on to do similar things at Mississippi State. Yeah. Uh, so, and I keep up with you. You know, you, like we, like I said, uh, for those that are watching or listening, we, we we were boys when you were here. Still are boys. What are we right. talking about? But uh, I look at it. I mean, I see it. I'm like, man, I'm so proud of D. Uh, tell everybody like how you kind of bridge that gap between community college and the university and what you did at Mississippi State. Yeah, so uh, during my sophomore year, I was able to take a tour at Mississippi State. Uh, loved the tour. It was a very similar feel for me as ICC, the home feeling and all of those different things. Um, and so I was able to set up a tour. And then also at the junior college level, uh, they recruit very well. Universities really want junior college students. A lot of times they're more mature, things of that nature. So I was able to build a good connection and start that connection my freshman year. So I was able to have two years to kind of build that connection. Um, and then once I uh, was able to do my uh, transition, I was able to meet people. And so once I got on campus, I already knew some instructors, mm -hmm. or I knew some people in my department. And that really helped my process along because then I already knew kind of what I was interested in, so I right. knew what I wanted to get involved in, right. what I didn't want to get involved in. Um, I And then by the time I got there, I really knew career-wise kind of the path I wanted to go, and so I was good with my major and everything like that. All right, and then what are some of the things uh, you're involved with at Mississippi State? Um, so very similar. Uh, I do student government at MSU my uh, junior year. Uh, my first year there, I was able to do uh, student government senate, and then the second year, I was deputy chief of staff, which is like working with the student body president, um, different things like that. I was also able to uh, be president of the Transfer Student Association, which is something that we restarted, basically to help students transition to uh, university life from community college or whatever the case is. Uh, and that was kind of one of my pride and joys, yeah. that, uh, my baby, if you will, that I was able to do. And then we are, were also able to start an initiative for transfer student living community. And so now you have a specific set of residence halls that transfer students live on the hall together. Uh, and you have a community, you all kind of going through the transition together. Um, and that was able to get started. And that was really kind of vision casted from having the opportunity to be an RA here while I was here with uh, Mr. Chad Case. Awesome. And so what what is your plans for the future? Plans for the future. That's <laughs> know, the big I know, I know, question. That's, I know, <laughs> and being a college student, you're probably like, man, I hear that all the time. But right. but uh, you're a guy, you've always had that vision, that plan. Yeah. So, you know, just talk to us about, you know, maybe what you're seeing maybe going towards in the future. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm right now I'm really interested in politics. So um, possibly a future being on someone's staff and then maybe a little bit later on in life. I'm running for public office. That's kind of what seems the most visible right now. I'm still really interested in media, still really interested in radio, television, um, a lot of different things like that. So that could be something in the future too. 